PyTorch has introduced this Execute Torch to boost in mobile and edge device performance. Execute Torch enhances on-device inference across mobile and edge devices, collaborating with industry leaders such as ARM, Apple, and Qualcomm. This new platform offers third-party integration tools and model acceleration, and it ensures wide compatibility and optimized performance. Execute Torch, in simple words, is an end-to-end -end solution for enabling on-device inference capabilities across mobile and edge devices, including variables, embedded devices, and microcontrollers. It is part of PyTorch Edge ecosystem and enables efficient deployment of PyTorch models to edge devices. There are three key pillars of this Execute Torch, portability, productivity, and performance. And the reason why PyTorch has released it because supporting on-device AI presents unique challenges with diverse hardware, critical power requirements, low, no internet connectivity, and real-time processing needs. These constraints have historically prevented or slowed down the creation of scalable and performant on-device AI solutions. That is where Execute Torch promises to be very beneficial. It is backed by industry partners, as I mentioned, Apple, R, Meta, and also Qualcomm, and it is, pro it, it is going to be highly portable and provide superior developer productivity without losing on performance. Okay, now let me show you how you can install it. The commands I'm going to use, you can use them on Linux, or if you want to use it on Windows, you would need to use Windows subsystem. I'll be using AWS EC2 instance where I have installed Ubuntu 20.4. So let's get started as how you can install it. I'm already logged into my Ubuntu system. Let me show you the version I'm using. So you can see I'm using the latest 2022.04. So if you have anything greater than 20.4, you should be good to go. The first step we need to do is to install Conda because it makes it quite easy to work with Conda. Let me show you the commands to do it. Let me first clear this. So wget and download the Conda shell script. Shouldn't take too long. That's done. Now let's check the checksum of this Anaconda file. That's good. And now let's run the shell script which we have just downloaded to install Conda. Press enter, spacebar, spacebar, and then type yes. Press enter. Let's wait as it down, uh, unloads the payload. Should not take too long. It has prepared the transactions of Conda and now it has almost finished. Let's wait for it to come back. You can see at the very right, it is still rotating. Okay, now let's initialize Conda. Just type yes, press enter, and that's it. Now let's source our um, profile. That's good. Let's check if Conda is installed. Type Conda info. And there you go, we have Conda installed, and that looks good. Now let's start uh, installing our Execute Torch, and let me show you what are the commands to do it. Yeah. So the first thing we need to do is to clone the GitHub repo of Execute Torch, and the command is a familiar git clone one. Let me clear this screen first. So this is the command, and we are now cloning the branch version 0 0.10. That's done. Now let's cd to that directory, we have, which we have just downloaded. We are in that directory now. And now just update the submodules. So git submodule sync. That's done. And now let's update it with initializing it. Let's wait for it to come back. Shouldn't take too long. Almost there, I guess. 
that is done and you can see that it has installed a lot of things including um, PyTorch, PyBind 1, 1 and Prelude and so on. Let's clear the screen and now let's create the Conda environment. Let's wait for it to finish. It is downloading and extra extracting a lot of packages within that environment. Let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. That's done. Now let's activate that. And you can see that in this um, parenthesis we have now execute torch enabled the environment. I mean, okay, let's move forward. Now we need to install the CMake. Let's install it because that is required. Let's wait for it to finish. Why here? And that shouldn't take too long to get installed. That's done. And now let's install execute torch and dependencies. The command for it is simply dot slash install. So that is where we are at. Let's run it. And now it is processing, building wheels, doing a lot of things. So let's wait for it to finish. So that's done. So and it is installed now. Now in the next step, if you want to uh, convert your existing programs to execute our program, you can also do that. And there are a few other steps which you need to follow. And I will drop the link to the documentation in video's description so that you can follow along. The commands which I have used are also present in that documentation and it's very nicely written as is the case with PyTorch documentation, as, um, you know, um, for other tools too. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or if you are stuck anywhere, please feel free to put it in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.